I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, to be honest, man. It's been a long time. Long ass time. But I got one question. Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all a lot. Tonight was my last night. Obviously, you see what time it is at the time of this recording and shit like that. Uh, it, It's been one hell of a, a journey with this job. You know what I'm saying? When I finally did it, man, it's been four weeks. Uh, the last week, uh, week five was next week, but we don't work that week. So I'm, I'm done with the job, man. I'm back to YouTube. And I honestly don't know what the fuck to say. It's kind of awkward, you know, taking so much time. Actually, to be honest, it's been five weeks since I was here, you know, because I stopped recording anything like a week before, you know what I'm saying? Before I started working. So, yeah, it's been five weeks. But anyway, got a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Uh, I don't even know where to start, but I guess I'll start with the job and tell y'all what I was doing exactly. For those of you who don't know, all of you don't know, but I was working at $6 shirts. And for those of you who don't know, $6 shirts right there, go check them out. Dope ass, uh, dope ass job, dope ass place, dope ass website. They sell shirts. Uh, they sell shirts, hoodies, tank tops, uh, long sleeves, sweaters, and shit like that. I was working there for the seasonal position and shit like that. And you know, at first it seemed like when I went in there and I found them on Craigslist, I was just looking around for a job and shit. And when I found them, you know, it, I thought it was a clothing store, you know what I'm saying? Which it is, but it, it was actually a warehouse. I mean, they don't have room and shit like that for a store, but I went in there and got an interview, had my schedule and shit like that ready. And I walked around with Byron, which is the guy who, you know, I guess he's like co-manager or some shit like that. But he took me around the warehouse and showed me what was up and shit. And it looked like a sweatshop. And when I went in, I was like, I kind of don't think that this job's for me. I said, um, fuck it. I'm going to do this because it was either this or it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't turn this down just because I was taking it on face value. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. You know what I'm saying? Those are my exact words. I said, yeah, I'll try it out. So then I made the video, yada, yada, yada. And then a week later I started working there and it was pretty straightforward. You know, I I, I was the first one in line. You know, when I got there, uh, James, who I'm guessing is the owner of the whole place. What the fuck happened? Anyway, uh, yeah, he's the owner. I was just the first one. I was ready. I was ready to work. I was ready to hustle. I was ready to grind and I was in there, you know, I, I, you know, I started bundling shirts and for those who don't know what bundling is, I was just rounding up shirts that they had stacked up on these, uh, trays and shit in the warehouse. And we had orders on pieces of paper and for each order, they had a specific number of shirts and types of shirts that you needed to get. So I would just take shirts off the things that I needed, you know, take them to the table, fold them up in order and then be done you know what i'm saying and then put that to the side and you know keep doing it over and over for eight hours a day from five to one a.m i was doing that shit and you know fast forward it was honestly the best job that, I've had, that i ever had you know what i'm saying like i've had some shit jobs and i had some good times at uh like a couple of the jobs that i had in the past but this was honestly the best job that i ever had simply because it was what I didn't expect to be in a job. You know what I'm saying? Like I was going in there and I was like, when I get in that job, I'm gonna just work. I'm gonna just do my thing. I ain't gonna be worried about anybody else. I ain't gonna like try and have no relationships and no friendships. Quite the opposite because after days started going by, I started linking up with the guys that I was uh, working with. Not like hanging out after work and shit, but just talking to them during work and laughing and just joking around and like oh man it was just amazing vibes man i love those guys and for this to be my last night there it's sad you know like it wasn't as sad as i thought it was gonna be but it was sad and you know now i'm starting to get back into the vibe of like actually recording some shit for y'all because i'm kind of like nervous you know i haven't been in front of the camera in like five weeks so i'm like i don't know how y'all gonna take me you know what i'm saying it's kind of like my first time even though my first time i wasn't really nervous i just got in it but i'm saying this job was just amazing it was an amazing experience it was completely like it, it was nothing that i didn't you know nothing that i expected it was like completely 
a 180. You know, I was expecting a straightforward job, but I got me a completely different like experience, man. It was a roller coaster of emotions. I was getting annoyed, I aggravated, I wanted to hurt people during this job, but at the same time, I had fun. I worked my ass off eight hours a day. I hustled. Like, it was just, it was fucking insane, man, how much shit I went through during this job. But most importantly, I made the money to get my stuff. I already ordered everything. Uh, I got a few things that I got to order. Uh, I got to order my green screen, my lamp, which is dope as fuck. Can't wait for y'all to see that if you do see it. Uh, and my chair. Now, I, like I said, I ordered everything else, but I just got to, um, I'm going to use me a, a, a regular chair when I get everything set up and shit like that. And this video is not going exactly how I, I saw it in my head, but fuck it. I really don't care. Anyway, I don't know, man. Y'all, y'all going to see my setup when I get everything going. Uh, but that was, that was pretty much the job, man. I mean, it was just a wonderful experience and I'm going to miss those guys. I am, you know, like I didn't expect because like during the first week, first like week and a half those guys made me sick i couldn't stand them you know what i'm saying i didn't like them i like every, like there were times when i went into the job like as soon as i got in there my emotions just like went to shit and i felt like man i don't want to be here like i just believe it or not i went to bed woke up always thinking about you guys thinking about youtube thinking about like when i finally get my stuff when i get the money when i earn this shit like I was like man I can't wait to be done with this piece of shit job and now that I'm done with it I'm like I don't miss it I'm not, I don't want to go back but I'm like man I had fun I had fun with these guys man Alex who was the guy who was working next to me he was another bundler and he was one of the coolest guys I ever met, man. I like I like the whole time I was actually just bothering him and joking around with him and shit because he he acts weird, you know what I'm saying, in a funny way. You know, and I, I would just like we would act like brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like I'd be like, bro, what's wrong with you, yo? You know what I'm saying? Like, why you so weird? But he was a smart guy, very smart dude, very intelligent. He knew what the fuck he was talking about, and we just had fun on the job and John and Luther, the guys who we were watching over us, he was like, those were the main guys, you know what I'm saying? They were cool as fuck. Like, we were just chilling, man, you know what I'm saying? Having good times, just vibing, laughing on the job, just talking, just shooting the shit, you know what I'm saying? And it was just a completely different experience that I, I never expected, and I'm honestly glad that I got to experience this, man. And you know what's funny? Like, at the beginning of 2017, I said this in my goodbye 2016 hello well hello 2017 i said that i was interested to see who was gonna come and go in my life whether it be for 15 minutes or so and so and these guys came for four weeks and completely changed my mind you know what i'm saying like not not in the way of like changing my actions and, I, and my choices but they just made me appreciate relationships and just enjoy the moment you know what i'm saying because i was so worried about just being done with the job but i actually enjoyed their company you know like i ain't want to be in that damn job but i love those guys they were awesome and not even just them but the other people as well who worked with us they were awesome just a bunch of good people man you know and it was just a bunch of different emotions in my head you know, to be honest, I didn't check my channel once since I, I stopped recording. Like after that video, my last video, uh, I said that I was going to uh, leave the channel alone. And I did. I ain't checked this shit once. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got a few subscribers and, you know, a couple of comments here and now on some videos. But other than that, I didn't check the channel itself. I didn't check to see how many subs I got. I didn't check messages and inboxes or anything. Like I just left it alone because I didn't want it to be that job again where I was trying so hard to focus on the work, but I was so invested in my YouTube channel that I couldn't balance both of them because I couldn't put 100% in one and then 100 in the other. It just wouldn't work like that. So I had to leave my channel alone for the better and it worked out. You know, I got a lot more than what I bargained for. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, uh, <laughs> the pineapple. Like, Luther, uh, the dude that I work with, he made me this. Like, this is one of their uh, designs for their shirt. It's just like the regular pineapple, but he taped these, like, fucking things on it with the door and shit because we, we had a little conversation about SpongeBob, you know, and, like, the pineapple always showed up, like, 
like every so often I turn my head and I see a shirt with a pineapple on it and I was like man the pineapple must be speaking to me man and then they started messing with me about it and he made that for me and you know he told me I could keep it and I was saying you know I was gonna take it home with me but every every night for about a week I kept forgetting it then I said you know what I'm gonna remember to take this thing because I don't want to sit there and wait on the last day and I and I forget it and then I'm I'm feeling like shit. So I took it with me and man, I'm I'm glad I did. That's something that that is hell dear to me, you know, because I I'm I'm gonna miss those guys, man. You know, it's just getting it's getting me kind of emotional because I really am gonna miss them. They're actually having a party tomorrow, and they they gave out invitations to everybody, and I just don't know if I want to go or not. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna miss those guys whether I go or not. They are awesome as fuck. I love them like as bros man like they were just some of the coolest guys i've ever been around and for him to make this little pineapple little thing for me it was just fucking dope and you know not even just that but alex gave people uh decks of cards and he gave me this this deck of cards i haven't op i haven't opened it yet because um i just when i get gifts and shit i either use it um like i i when i get stuff like this i'll hold it and not really bother it you know what i'm saying not as a like oh i get it and then i just forget about it kind of thing i just don't want to open something like this and just use it because one i don't play cards like that let alone like i don't want to play by myself and second i don't want to ruin them man it's a new deck of cards that somebody gave me as a gift i don't just want to open it and just treat it as that you know what i'm saying i want to like keep it for a special occasion in case I'm around some people and we just want to shoot the shit and play some cars and some shit, but it was just dope to get that, man. Uh, the pineapple picture, uh, good vibes. I even got a bunch of shirts. I don't know how many shirts I got, but I got at least like 60 shirts, like no bullshit, because they, a lot of the shirts that they have on the job, they don't use, so they let people take them, people who work there, so I was just literally like almost every day taking shirts every time before I leave, I'll get me some shirts, some bomb ass shirts, I got like five hoodies, you know what I'm saying, and I'm fucking happy, like I came out with a bunch of shit that I didn't expect to get, top it off, I got my fucking equipment, you know what I'm saying, that's the main shit that I wanted, you know what I'm saying, I hustled, I stayed down. Y'all know I stayed down for this, you know? Like, I, I literally bust my ass for this for two years. Like, I've been thinking about this since 2015 when I was in my aunt's house when we, before we moved, like, I was talking about this shit. Actually, around the time when my laptop destroyed itself, that's when I started thinking about, like, a whole new setup. But at the time, I was thinking about a laptop. Not a desktop and a complete setup, but I got all of that, man, coming in. You know what I'm saying? And it, it just, it feels unreal, you know, because, like, every time I made a little money and, it, and I saw it in my account, I thought to myself, man, this is actually happening. I never expected this to actually be what it is, be that moment where I actually get my equipment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... I used, I used to say this shit all the time on my channel. I used to tell Karina this. I used to tell y'all this. Like, when I get the money, I'm going to get my equipment. I used to say, I'm getting it next week, next month. Like, it's coming. I'm getting it. You know what I'm saying? And it never came. And to know that I bought it, it's fucking unbelievable. And, like, I'm not going to tell y'all what I got. Not yet. I'm going to show y'all when it comes in. But I got more than what I bargained for. And I'm fucking happy. Like, I'm fucking excited. Like, I, I I just don't know what else to say. And you know what? I'm going to show y'all real quick. Come on. Come on, ride with me real quick. Just just to show y'all what's up. First of all, look at my room. Yeah, I got the, the fan and shit. My bed right here. Like, oh, shit. The camera's going all over the place. I don't have much space in here. You know what I'm saying? But look at this shit right here. And I'm and I got my camera on the on the screen so I know where I'm aiming and shit. Pew 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 pew. No, anyway, I got my, my beats box. Uh I'm gonna actually keep those as memory. I was gonna throw the headphones away because they're broken. I got my brother's Xbox One controller and shit. Uh but this is my setup that I have now, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at my, my laptop. It's all busted and dusty and shit. The mouse pad barely works. You know what I'm saying? Actually, that doesn't even work ever since I spilled water in it. But the keyboard doesn't work. That's why I'm using this one right here. Like, I got this giant lamp that I'm going to replace. I got uh, 
the little webcam and shit like that man i just i got like the weakest setup ever yo hold on let me get my camera fixed what the fuck i got the weakest setup ever you know what i'm saying like but i stay strong with this shit literally like my setup my laptop costs 400 bucks i bought this for college for those of you who don't know my webcam only cost 20. i couldn't forget that day because karina took me to best buy to buy this and to come from this going to what i got coming now unbelievable i prayed so much i stayed down so much i've been doubted so much kicked out uh talked about laughed at my dream hasn't been supported you know what i'm saying by people who i thought like wouldn't even be on that negative shit you know what i'm saying but i stayed down i stayed solid i did what i had to do I hustled, I bust my ass, and now I literally am about to upgrade, and my my quality, first of all, is gonna be a hundred thousand times better than what the fuck it is now. And you know, like, I'm just thankful. And matter of fact, little side note, this is gonna be the last time that I record on this webcam. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm after this video's up, uh, just to let y'all know, I got a few video, actually four videos that I'm gonna put up. I got two more videos of uh, Miseo, going up i got the ending and then true ending unless i already put part five i don't know anyway i got those going up i got kills adventure the final video on that then i got the last video of resident evil uh i'm gonna put one video of those up every day and take it from there you know what i'm saying and actually matter of fact let me let y'all know this now uh my stuff is supposed to come in tuesday uh next week but my monitor won't be here until a week from then so i don't know what to tell y'all y'all just gonna have to wait a little bit longer you know what i'm saying but everything is coming in everything is gonna come together just know that like i'm grateful for this this is literally gonna take me off you know what i'm saying like skyrocket the channel and you know i was thinking to myself before this even happened before this opportunity happened i was like y'all don't know this but i was literally gonna quit my channel like in the new year like come january 1st i was gonna like if nothing big happened i was gonna quit my channel and not tell y'all like no bullshit i was this came up and now i gotta make it i have to make it i literally first of all i bought all that shit i can't sit here and not make it you know i gotta do something I gotta, I gotta go hard. I gotta do this. This, it's not even a, a matter of like having a choice. Like I have no choice but to do it now. You know what I'm saying? And first of all, like I said in my last video, if I do this, I said this. If I do this, you gotta chase your dream as well if you have one. So I did my part. Now, please do your part and chase your dream. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to be an inspiration to people out there, mainly my little brother because uh, I told him, he was actually, I think the first person who I actually told what I was getting and shit. I mean, he doesn't really know what I'm getting. I want him to be a surprise, but I want to inspire that boy. You know what I'm saying? To first of all, see his big big brother as a, 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 a symbol of hard work and hope because I devote my, my, my all to what I do. And it's no joke to me, but people take it as a joke because it's not making money, you know what I'm saying? But I want my little brother to know that through all of this shit, I stayed solid. I worked my ass off and his big brother did not sway from the path of, you know, honesty, you know what I'm saying? And just being a good person because I didn't cheat my way to this at all. I never like advertised on other people's channels. I never asked anybody for a collab. People came to me for collabs, you know what I'm saying? I never ask for shit you know i got all of this shit on my own you know what i'm saying i earned this on my own and a true true story uh my uncle um, not my uncle but my my granddad during the summer he was actually gonna buy my stuff for me you know what i'm saying but it was a completely new setup it was first of all at that time uh i had picked out a lot a lot of shit that was actually very expensive i was just picking shit out because i wanted the best stuff that i could possibly get i wasn't thinking about budgeting you know what i'm saying but for long story short that never happened and i'm actually happy that didn't happen because honestly the thought of 
him buying my shit for me would have made me feel bad because first of all, that would have gave him the right to be able to do and say whatever he wanted to do or say to me. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't have really had leeway to say no to anything. Like basically I would have been, I would have been controlled. I mean, even though my granddad isn't that kind of person, like maybe other people would have said stupid shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Would have, you know, came at me on some uh, you ungrateful and all that shit. Your granddad ain't have to buy this shit for you. You know what I'm saying? But I did this on my own. You know, I made the money, my own money. I spent all my money on everything that's coming in, and I don't regret it at all. I swear, I I'm happy as hell. Like I kid you not. Every day on the job, I was thinking about the channel since day one. I was thinking about the channel every day i promise you there was not a day that went by when i wasn't thinking about this shit when i got up and i got ready for work it was just a day to hustle to get that money and then when i came back home i went to bed while well, i ate and then i went to bed and thinking about the channel and i wanted to check it so bad i wanted to get back into the channel and see what y'all were doing and shit but i never did it because i just didn't want to spoil it i wanted it to be I wanted to just focus on the job and get that out of the way, then come back to the channel and I'm back and I'm strong, I'm happy, I'm fit. Like this job, first of all, this job took me back to my first job, man. You know what I'm saying? Like when I got into it, I was just ready to go. I was hustling, working, and then as time went by, I was just ready to get out of it. And I was sick of the people. And then when I left, it was emotional because I was around people for so long. and shit like that but at this time i have something to look forward to it's not just a job that i'm out of you know what i'm saying oh yeah let's talk about some of the games that i'm gonna be playing first of all i'm gonna play emily wants to play too you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be a little late to that but uh it's actually around the time when i started playing emily wants to play you know the first game like i remember 2015 I did one video on that, then my laptop fucked on fucked up on me, and then three months later I got back into the game and beat it. But uh this time around, I'm actually gonna play the game whole way through, completely new setup, quality gonna be on what y'all would say on fleet, even though that's an old ass term. But yeah, man, everything is just gonna be dope. Quality is gonna be awesome. I can't wait. It's gonna be a completely new experience for you and for me. Uh sound is gonna be dope. The the the, the, everything is just gonna be perfect you know what i'm saying coming from what i came from coming from what i stand for coming from the bullshit that i dealt with in my life not even just with my channel in recent years i'm talking about from when i was a jet coming up like i dealt with a lot of bullshit you know what i'm saying things that i'm not going to talk about in this video maybe in the later future you know if people start asking me questions and shit uh but I dealt with a lot of shit, man, and to come from that to this is unbelievable. I never would have expected me to be the one to want to get out of my city doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was just going to be an average Joe, getting a job, going to school or some shit, but I'm actually taking a chance and I'm living my dream. You know what I'm saying? Something that people just got to either respect or they ignore it. But either way it go, I'm going to stay solid and I'm going to do what I got to do and just keep going and... I want y'all to be with me the whole way, man. Like, I got to carry this, man. You know, because I don't do this just for me. I do this for you guys. I do this for Rob. I do this for AFO. I do this for Jonah. I do this for everybody. Even those people who just don't have a voice for themselves or, or miss their chance. I do this for them. I do this for the haters. I do this for everybody, you know? So I can't sit there and just let it be what it is. I got to. I gotta hustle, man. That's just what it is. And like 2018 is gonna be a crazy year, you know? So uh, I'm ready. Emily wants to play too. I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play Bioshock, which I'm very excited for. I was actually thinking about that for about a. Uh, I was thinking about that since my second week in the job. Uh, Bioshock. I'm gonna play Resident Evil HD Remake. I'm gonna play uh, Cry Fear. Uh, SCP, but I think I'm gonna do Crime Fear and SCP on a live stream. I'm gonna do a live stream at 500 subs, but I don't know when that's gonna be. I'm gonna do uh, Monstrum, and for those of you who don't know what Monstrum is, go check Mark's video on that, what videos on that pretty dope game. I wanted to play that ever since I saw that shit. Uh, what else am I gonna play? I got some games in my phone. Let me check. Oh, 
I'm gonna do Remothered. For those of you who don't know what that is, uh, it's a horror game that came out in October. Very dope game. Uh, actually came out on Halloween. Very dope game. Uh, well, it looks dope. I don't know how it plays, but I'm gonna play that too. Uh, I don't know, man. Just a lot of shit gonna, gonna happen this year. I'm gonna be playing a lot of uh, games and shit, a bunch of games. I'm gonna be collabing with people, you know what I'm saying? For every person who uh, hits me up, I'm gonna collab with them, no doubt. I'm a, I just wanna take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way. Uh, I wanna do Vibe with Step. I, I, talk, I talked to y'all about that uh, some months back. I wanted to start up the Vibe with Step series, which is gonna be a, 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 a like a, gonna be like a basically a little small talk show with like my thing you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna like just chat it up with whoever's on like whoever my guest is we're gonna do random shit we either gonna talk about a certain topic we're gonna smoke we're gonna like do something random or we're gonna have challenge videos or something like that i just want that to be a dope series to start up you know what i'm saying but i don't know when i want to do that kind of want to put it off for now and just focus on getting videos out for y'all and halloween of terror if i'm blessed enough to make it to see October, that's gonna happen, no doubt. It's just gonna be October, me playing all scary games the whole month, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, everything is just going, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and I'm gonna do virtual reality for y'all. Didn't expect that, did you? Nope, cause I didn't either. God damn it, that's gonna be a blessing that I, um, I'm very excited for, man. Something that I ain't expect to happen. I'm gonna do virtual reality for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. Uh, I'm not gonna do it often, but I am gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? From time to time. Cause one, I don't have enough space to be jumping around here, flipping on my walls and shit. But at the same time, it, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't really have the money to be buying virtual reality games and shit. You know, if I can afford some, I'll get it and play it for y'all. But if not, I'm gonna just be doing regular old gaming, you know? But like everything is going you know what i'm saying it's going this year well 2018 is going crazy uh it's a lot more that i can talk about but i pretty much just you know i'm back i'm back and i'm better than ever and i'm my my channel is growing like crazy this well 2018 i keep saying this year but i'm still early in december well not early in december it's fucking 22nd i got one week left but i'm ready man and i'm glad that y'all stayed down and, and, and stay patient because I really, 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 really needed this. I needed the time away. I needed because like my hunger for this is even more than what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted this, but now I need this. I crave it. You know what I'm saying? Like every day at the job, I felt a fire in my stomach from for this to happen. And now that it's happening, there's nothing that can stop me. I'm like a tank with another tank in it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I gotta do this, you know, I'm ready. There's nothing anybody can do or say to stop me. I had my times in the past when people could say something and it'll kind of shake me a bit and I'm like, eh. But now I'm like, fuck all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna do this, you know? And I, and I hope that the people who doubt me, family members and all, come to realize that I this means the world to me and I really want to take this far. So with that being said, it's going, like I said, man, 2018 is going to be a crazy year. A lot of recording, a lot of collabs, hopefully. If I'm blessed enough, a lot of a lot of attention, a lot of opportunities, a lot of sh like struggle as well, man. I ain't get this far without that struggle. That struggle made me a powerful young man, but like I'm really, really, really ready to get this going. I got a lot of shit for y'all and I cannot wait to get it going so again step is back i'm gonna update the channel i'm gonna do the banner over i'm gonna do my profile picture over i'm gonna do all of that shit over i'm ready to get it going this video is 30 minutes long and i honestly expected it to be 30 minutes i'm glad it's only 30 minutes but uh four videos coming up for y'all over the next few days look forward to them and when i get my stuff i'm gonna start recording on that i'm gonna get right into it like it's nothing so Look forward to it. Thanks for staying patient for, with me for these four weeks. Yeah, I bet y'all thought that I was gone for good, but nope, I'm back and I'm strong, girl, than ever. So, Schman Step signing off. I'll catch y'all guys when I get back.